In this video net interview at IBC 2015, I'm talking to Ken Morse, who is the CTO and VP for Video Software and Solutions at Cisco. Hi, Ken. Hi, John. Now, we've been seeing a lot of announcements recently about service providers who are beginning to virtualize um, back office and head end functions. And you've announced before the show that NC Plus in Poland will use your V2P virtualization platform. So, is this um, sort of operations revolution that you've been talking about really upon us now? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, just with the NC Plus announcement and with other customers that we're working on, we're actually seeing a real groundswell start in terms of people understanding what the operational benefits are of virtualizing and also what it gives them in terms of time to market, the ability to flatten the workflows, be able to do things that before used to involve, you know, racking and stacking equipment over the course of weeks and sometimes months and bring those workflows down to a matter of minutes. Uh, for people on our team, it's, it's, they're, they're amazed as well kind of thing in terms of how quickly things can get set up as well. And then leveraging orchestration on top of that environment to not only use it to deliver the new services, but to bridge against the existing infrastructure that customers have. And so that you can actually use a blended uh, capability between the hardware systems that are in place today and are set up with the new elastic software environments that we do in the virtualized world. So I think it's upon us right now. Uh, we've got customers that are embracing it. And to be perfectly honest, just in the, the couple of days here at IBC already, it's just one of the hottest topics uh, that customers have in their interactions with us. Yeah, it really is. I think virtualization is the, really just the big story for this whole year, isn't it? And, uh, it is, absolutely. One of the products that you've been focusing on at IBC is Infinite Video, which is for OTT delivered content to OpenCE devices. I mean, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so Infinite Video is really, as you say, it's an OTT solution uh, delivering to a whole range of unmanaged devices. Um, and that includes actually set-tops as well in that uh, configuration. And what our customers have asked for is, how do we just get started quickly? How do we move faster? And so for us, it's our first foray into an as-a-service, it's a hosted service that we provide at Cisco. And it's something where we can turn on customers in you know, much less than 90 days. And so what they get is a solution that hits all those devices that they care about. It has a very you know, industry-leading user experience in terms of product K that we call a bit leverage from the Snowflake work. And be able to then introduce new features. We have a very strong DevOps uh, culture internally. And then using continuous integration, continuous deployment to be able to get new features out there on a very, very regular basis. So get started quick, hit the devices you care about, a UX that customers love, and then go from there. Okay, so it's not going to be confused with a sort of a multi-screen because it's also set up box and it's but it's adaptive bit rate kind of Absolutely. OTT delivery. Absolutely, yeah. And for live and VOD, yeah. Yeah, okay. And you've also been talking about Infinite Home, which is your solution for managed two-way networks, so traditional platform operators. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, that's certainly for working in the space where you know you might be an existing service provider with a cable or a wireline infrastructure, and you want to be able to leverage those existing delivery mechanisms you have today, but get the benefits of the agility that comes with a cloud-based platform, both in terms of service delivery, uh, as well as in terms of UX configuration as well. And so that's something that we're doing, obviously, with Cable Deutschland that we announced uh, fairly recently. Um, and they're seeing the benefits there of delivering on a true cloud-based TV platform. And it ties in with the virtualization elements that we were talking about earlier as well, to bring all of that together in a package that just gives you what you need across the whole range of devices with a quality of service and a user experience that, that we hope is second to none. And when you talk about cloud-powered TV platforms, what does that actually mean? I mean, tell us you know, what that means in terms of the sort of the building blocks, for example. Sure, yeah. So, you know, historically as an industry, you know, and we, we've all done this together kind of thing, it's been a case of we've been building bigger and bigger stacks on the set-top. And the implications of that is, you know, the test cycles that we have to go through it, the complexity that we introduce there. But now that we have, you know, always on two-way networks that, you know, are becoming de rigueur in the industry, we have the ability to take some of the intelligence out of the set-top, move it back to the cloud. Let's just take the example of uh, recording management. Um, do that in the cloud, it can then address that from whether you're requesting the record from any type of device. You're only having to talk to one place and that's the cloud. And it also then allows you to do migrations where you may be doing recording in the device because, because of content rights. The cloud's aware of what those things are. And then over time as content rights evolve, that recording management is just now talking to a cloud DVR subsystem and doing the recording in the cloud. 
Um, on the user experience, there's another element there about, again, user experience were very tied to the device that they were running on. Now we have a very in intelligent system in the cloud that actually configures and puts together the user experience for the type of target device that's requesting. And with that, you have total flexibility. So as a service provider, you might be able to do different tiered offerings in that area, you know, to businesses as well as traditional residential as well. An obvious effect of that is really that it becomes easier to do updates across a whole population of set-top boxes. So if we get to this point that you know, Cisco have been talking about where you can have updates and um, new enhancements on a minute or even weekly basis, you know, what is the, sort of the big picture impact of that for the TV industry and for the, sort of the, the traditional platform operator? I think one of the biggest things is, you know, historically to introduce a new feature into the system, it all re almost required a complete business commit to do it, yeah, because you were going to invest a lot of money, you were going to do set-top updates, you were going to do system updates. Now, as we're leveraging a cloud in a virtualized environment, we're able to actually put together things at incredibly low cost to try them to small subscriber sets, you know, get marketing feedback on it, how are they using it, use the analytics and the deep analytics that we have in the system to see how people use it, does it drive upsell, does it drive other usage patterns on the devices, and then be able to bring that back and say, okay, now let's roll that out to a larger community. Um, and also, you know, it gives us the ability as well, from an operational point of view, to really decide how we segment rollouts, uh, you know, as people have particular uh, service support capabilities. It just allows you to partition that in a much, much better way. So you gain operational efficiencies and also for running your business, it gives you, you know, the capability that you just didn't have before. You can try a lot of things, see if they work, see if they don't. It's basically catching up with what's been going on in the web world for, you know, the last five years, but now applying those same fundamental principles to television delivery. Mm. And a lot of this is really bringing together that sort of Cisco vision of TV plus network now, isn't it? It's really becoming obvious how that kind of complements Absolutely. Each other. You know, when I look at the virtualization aspects we've been talking about, cloud in general, it really ties together the assets across the whole Cisco portfolio, and video is really riding on that cloud and virtualization infrastructure, and we're able to uh, leverage the developments and innovations that come across the wider Cisco family, and also using a virtualization platform to enable interoperability with third parties through open APIs as well, so it gives the operators the best uh, best world that they can have out there. Okay, all right. Well, thanks for telling us about it, Ken, and uh, great to talk to you again. Okay, great to talk to you too, John.